Hello beautiful people, this is Xanax, and this is State of the Kingdom episode banana. I mean episode 6. Sorry about that. <laughs> Not my fault this time. Not my fault. Um, this week we have GM also and myself, and we have three brand new panelists, Tainted, Yunez, and Valtiel. What's up guys? Hey. Hey. Hey, welcome guys. Welcome, hey everyone. Welcome. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> this will be interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. I'll make sure it's interesting. Okay then. Since you guys are brand new to the podcast, we kind of have this new tradition. Tradition, new, not really new, but tradition anyway. <laughs> then you guys will see your main <laughs> character's name, your character's level, and what server do you play on. So Tainted, let's start with you. My name is Tainted in game. I'm level sixty three bar sub source. And I'm playing on the Siren servers. And yay? <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm Zenny. My I level is like 64. Oh wait, no, I leveled up today. Uh, 65 Baird Bard in Siren server. Valtiel. I'm Valtiel, level 66 Wizard Bard in Siren. It's good to, <laughs> to have you guys on. So last week, Opso. You unleashed on us that we are expecting Warbo to be in March. <laughs> Fun time. Right. That's what we're expecting, yeah. So, can you tell us any details or any teasers regarding the Warbo class and the upcoming content? Absolutely. Um, so, basic outline of what it is, it's, it's a, a new range DPS class, and it will specialize in the bow, which kind of obvious from the name <laughs> um, and one of the cool features about it that, that I've seen based on playing around with it is it has a kind of a, a charge up mechanic which is kind of akin to you know drawing back the bow so most of its skills can be cast as instants but you can actually charge them up by holding down the button and the longer you charge it it'll give you more damage or additional effects that kind of stuff so it's kind of very cool that it's akin to uh, like an, uh, an archer type class where you can cast it as an instant but you can draw back the bow for more damage and there will be uh, more of this actually shown in our weekly twitch stream so just stay tuned to that as well and that'll be this saturday correct correct at what time i believe it starts at, at uh, 2 p.m pst um it's it's usually not when i'm in the office but i believe that's that's when it starts it's generally posted on the forums, though, so uh, if you want to take a look at that, you should be able to see when it is. And how is the March estimation looking? Okay, so far we're still on track for some time in March. Um, we, we have found a few interesting bugs on the test server. Mm -hmm. um, nothing, nothing terribly major so far, mm -hmm. so it should be stuff that, that won't prevent us from uh, moving forward. But, you know, as always, it's subject to change. But so far, we're looking like we're on target for that. Okay. And can I squeeze anything extra out of you? Like maybe second week in March, first week in March? That, we're not too sure on yet. <laughs> uh, not sure <laughs> hey, yet. Yeah, I tried. Sorry. I tried. Sorry. It was Sorry, a nice guys. try. Nice try. Maybe next week, right? <laughs> It'll be sometime in, in, in March, I think. March. <laughs> That was a smart weather. <laughs> Alright guys, um so there you have it. Um can you tell more about the chargeback mechanic though? Like will it apply to most skills, all skills? Um, okay, so based on, on um, my playing around with on test, it applies to almost all of the skills. I mean there's there's a couple that, that aren't aren't charged back or, or aren't charge up. And of course, you know, there's always going to be the secondary weapons, which, you know, those are pretty much normal. But based on what I've seen and what I've done in testing, almost all of the skills can be uh, charged up like that. So, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's really cool that there's a lot of them that will have additional effects if you're able to get it to the full charge. Or they're just going to do, they're just going to do more damage, that kind of stuff. But as an example, there's an AOE skill that you can do it as an instant, but if you charge it up, it will not only will it do more damage, it will also give a much larger AOE effect. So you can tag more creatures like that. So stuff like that. 
So it's it's a very cool mechanic because it's very much in line with the whole true type concept. So yeah, so far it seems like it'll be very neat, and I'm pretty sure people are going to have a lot of fun with that. So the charge up isn't a requirement for the skills, but rather like a bonus. It's not a requirement for them. I mean, they're yeah, you can cast them as instants, um, but if you want more damage and additional effects, optimal. Or, yeah. Yeah. What about the uh, other content that's going to be related to um, besides the Warbow? Like, what else do you think will be in the update? Well, I, I know we discussed uh, some of this last time, mm. but as, as a refresher, there's going to be actually a, a bunch of content planned, which there's going to be more levels to the, uh, to the Sky Tower. There's, you're going to have to forgive me, I'm trying to remember what exactly uh, I discussed last time. But yeah, there's going to be more Sky Tower. There's going to be further progression in the uh, storyline, I believe. But there's there's definitely a lot of content planned, and we're going to be showcasing a lot of this very very soon, in both like streams in in the forums. Oh yeah, yeah, just definitely stay tuned, and there's going to be a lot more. Also, I believe uh, there's more PvP content coming up. Um, so entirely new, yeah, entirely new system for that as well, um, as well as other stuff. What do you guys think about the uh, Warbo? Oh. So you're... Oh, man, this is going to be fun. <clears throat> Anyone else want to go first? You go first. No. Oh, well, then. Uh, the Warbo looks like it's going to be, you know... Uh, when it, I've read some of its attacks, like that uh, three-arrow attack that instead, when you charge it up, it shoots four arrows out. Uh, I feel like if th that hits multiple times, I'm probably going to get a lot of debuffs, so I have four chances to debuff someone. I'm not really sure about those mechanics yet or if that will even work, but I want to test it out during the Warbow release so I can, you know, basically debuff everything. Evasion, defense, offense, you know, basically just like a support class, mm -hmm. sort of, but more like a support DPS class. It's it's kind of hard to explain, but, uh, you know, it's uh, something different. That's, that that's definitely a, a good way to look at it. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, control DPS. it definitely going to be very good mm -hmm. at DPS, but it has Our some control. decent support abilities as well. Like I, I know it has an ability to uh, affect healing as well, which oh, I believe, oh, man. I believe it'll cut healing by. I I don't want to say the wrong amount, but I I think it was somewhere in the range of forty percent for a little while. Oh man, you uh, hear that PvP bards? And I believe that they come with a 20% accuracy to begin with. And they can debuff evasion like really, really bad. Deal swords be on the lookout. So, what you're saying is like, uh, warbows are gonna be able to hit and make everyone else able to hit also. Yeah. Oh man, I'm excited. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to. Time to reroll. At least that's from my experience, and that's only the Taiwanese version. So it could differentiate in North America, but from what I've seen, um, that's usually the experience um, for the Warbow class. So guys, what's been the most challenging experience for you in our kingdom? Usually, like, people don't associate our kingdom and a challenge, but it does get challenging once you get to endgame. So what's been your most challenging experience? Definitely Sky Tower. How far did you get? Like, sixth floor? And there's more coming out very soon. Oh, man. I don't think anyone has even hit the maximum yet. <laughs> you don't make me feel so shameful. That'll, you tainted? Well, that'll come with time, though. I mean, people, people are eventually going to get there. Um, uh, but we do always want to make sure that there's any of uh, actual challenging content out there for those people who are always pushing themselves to be on top. What else have you guys found challenging in the game? Farming the recipe. Oh yeah, the recipes. I was actually trying to get uh, Velt over here some of the new 6D recipes, but it's just their prices are just outrageous. I, I'm like completely broke now because uh, we just uh, got the Asian um, gauntlets, and they they are still pretty expensive. Uh, a lot of the body parts are also really expensive too. Like I've yeah. seen them go up to 1.2k gold to 3k gold, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah. oh man. Not to mention the orange costumes next month coming. The what? The orange body costume coming next month for those who got the diamond pack. Yeah, it should be oh. the last. Uh, should be the last one coming out. Yeah, I want to see that. 
Yeah, the Wii's going, it's going to like 4K. Though. Yeah, when they first came out, they were like 2.3K in Siren, and, and I got sad because I waited and I thought it would go down, but no. No, it got, <laughs> got a lot. I and saw it's going to get higher. I, I swear, like, in a year's time, it's just going to be ridiculously high. Because, you know, mm-hmm. as the, the economy grows, you know, money loses its value um, per ratio, so. Oh, yeah. It's it's a common thing yeah. whenever games are launching. Exactly. Now, as as far as um, our perspective, though, we, we kind of see that a little, a little different as to what's been the most challenging for us. And, you know, we we have to uh, approach it as, you know, the, uh, the game publishers rather than, rather than just the players. So we've had things that are a little... They're challenging in a different way for us, such as things things that just really frustrate us that you know we we wish we didn't have to deal with, but are part of uh, are part of the job. Mm. So basically, for us, it's it's mainly the issues that we don't really have so much control over. An example would be like the the intermittent server issues that we were experiencing uh, near the launch of the game. Oh, I'm, I'm sure several of you guys uh, experienced that. <laughs> um, yeah, and, big time. Yeah, and and that's the kind of stuff that that we find frustrating um, because uh, it's not necessarily something that we may have a huge amount of control over, but we still feel responsible for how it may be affecting our player base, and obviously it's frustrating for the players as well. So uh, that kind of stuff. That does frustrate us. I mean, we feel that we've been able to address a lot of that, and they're kind of doing better now. But yeah, we definitely found that challenging. And another another kind of issue that that we have is things that should take us away from other other duties, um, namely stuff like dealing with with the bot issue and with people that are buying gold, that kind of stuff. Mm. Which I, I I know there's a lot of people out there. We we see them saying uh, DMs don't care about this or, or GMs don't spend time on this. We we actually have several people that are dedicating to it to addressing bots and gold buyers and all that kind of stuff all day. It's not like a we do it for 15 minutes thing. It, it's an all day thing. Mm. But the, but the thing is that we find frustrating about that is that's time that we would much much rather spend on other stuff. I mean you know I mean there's whether it's being on the forums or, or getting uh, running events or even just like testing bugs that we can report to our uh, developers. We'd rather spend time doing that kind of stuff. So area perspective, that's, that's the thing that we have the most challenge with. What about you, Valtia? What's been the most challenging experience for you? Probably Sky Tower and probably PvP. Fighting against like a full team of bards is not very fun for a did bard myself. And tainted? So farming the recipe. Is that like your main focus in the game, farming? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Ah, uh, collector. Yeah. I I totally understand. Yeah, I don't really relate to collectors. I'm more of the uh, PvP or myself. So when Valtiel is expressing her concerns over the PvP situation, I totally see what you mean. Well, I'm a guardian, so you know, I just thank you anyway. You know, that's the thing, though, is, is we have such a huge collection of players that are all into so many different things. And, I mean, personally, I'm, I'm along the lines of a uh, completionist. You know, I have to get all the achievements, have to get all the recipes, all that kind of stuff. And I do en- enjoy it. And, and this is kind of a general thing for how I play any game. I, I do enjoy getting in there and doing the, the PvP and PvE, but my, my first love is just being a completionist. And there are other people that they just appreciate in so many different other aspects of the game. So that's that's one thing that we always need to make sure is is that we're actually putting enough content in there that we'll be able to keep as many people interested as possible. Hmm. Which is always interesting when you have people who are into so many different types of things. Wait, uh, you said you're a completionist. Uh, does that and, and uh, you've been uh, dabbing around with the game? Have you actually tried like some of the some of the trying to get all the uh, achievements and everything so far that's been released this is why i am leveling my my alt character very very slowly <laughs> because oh. i'm trying for achievements on the way up mm. um I'm, i mean that and the fact that i don't get as much time to play as i'd like yeah um, but yes i i have been and i i actually find them a lot of fun just because it's it's not so much like 
the quest system telling you go do this thing right here it's more along the lines of you kind of have to figure it out for yourself or something like that, which i actually like that i mean and personally that's what i consider an achievement it's, it's something that you've achieved so yes i i have been doing that and that's partly why i'm still level than i'd like to be oh man when you hit level 50 ultimate fight club is going to be a pain because that's one of the things you need for an adventure oh i know i and know we we've, we've we've tested that uh, we played around with that one <laughs> that one was I quit. yeah i cried so much about that because uh they they hit me from across the map and i think it's just like something wrong with my connections uh recently but you know you can't win them all right <laughs> That's I barely hit yeah. them for one ten of the HP, and it hit me like three four. <laughs> yeah, those things are just way too strong. <laughs> well, it'll come with time. Hmm. Isn't it? I mean, not everything is intended to be like something you can do on the first time around. So, Obs, with you not being able to play the game so much, I'm betting that you guys get pretty wild or crazy. And the uh, <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> so, mm. would you like to share a bit of the shenanigans that you guys get into? Well, I hate to be uh, a wet blanket. We're not probably as wild as people think. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's oh, all sorts on. of speculation. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it's possible that Ten Ring might be wearing a toga at this very mo moment, <coughs> but I'm not going to confirm that. <laughs> <Excuse> <laughs> <laughs> and and now he's staring at me. Okay, <laughs> hi Tenring. Um, but I mean, we 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 do get to have fun. I mean, the thing that that a lot of people need to remember is that we are a place of uh, place of business. Um, it's well, it is a, a video game company, and it is a lot of fun to work with. And we do have some great people here. We do also actually have to do work. Uh, <laughs> But we've we've definitely had some some fun stuff like um, I tell you that that almost every single person here has at least one Nerf gun, um, and there have been a a, a few epic battles here because you know we need to defend against the action team. You never know when they're going to come over and try to steal your cubicle. It could happen. <laughs> Why the servers so unstable lately? <laughs> No. <laughs> oh. <what? laughs> no. 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 Um. But I mean, there's there's always like, a lot of other stuff that you know we we manage to have fun while while we're doing work. Um. Another example is like um, actually back when we were working on launching the game, um, we were trying to prepare for some some media events. You know, uh, to give media partners. Actually, Xanax, you're you're one of them, so you remember this. And when we were actually uh, running the dungeons to prepare for this, I'm not going to name names, but there there was a particular team member here who we discovered was really, really bad at running dungeons with us. Um, <laughs> um, no, no, it was not. Even though we say blame Kuma, it actually was not Kuma. Oh, okay. I'm not, not going to say who it was, but... There was definitely a, a lot of uh, there was a lot of yelling going back and forth. Um, oh man! We discovered that this person is is not very good at moving out of red circles. I'm staring at them right now. <laughs> you know who they are? <laughs> yeah, it's hungry. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you guys leave that open for speculation, but but we definitely have a lot of fun when we're doing stuff like that because you know we we are all gamers. And that's partly why we like working here, um, and you know we, we we enjoy being able to just have fun with, with each other. We'll get in there and uh, do some arena and then yell at each other, um, especially if we suspect the other person is using GM powers, which oh. happens o only on test <laughs> server when we're playing against each other. We don't actually get in and do that on, on, on live. But yeah, we, we definitely have some fun. So probably not the wild, crazy shenanigans that, that you're picturing. But you know, we do make sure that we have fun. Because it, it is, while it is a place of business, and honestly, it's, it's a lot of work, and it at times gets incredibly stressful, we do still want to make sure that we actually enjoy work and have fun at it. So, it was Ten Ring, wasn't it? 
<laughs> this man tells all. Oh, what? See, he, the, the he, fact he was is, like staring fact, him a while ago. So the fact is, these are, these are the people that I work with, and if I did, uh, if I did release that information, um, my, my desk may end up covered with saran wrap tomorrow. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it safe, safer now, then. <clears throat> yeah, uh, but but I'll I'll try to tap out a pattern in Morse code of who it was, and maybe you guys can translate that later. <laughs> oh, oh, it was I him. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so we're going to move into the question and answer portion, but this week is going to be a little bit different. Actually, very different. We're going to have a lightning round. You guys have been really, really, really awesome, and you actually submitted a lot of questions and some really, really good questions. So we have about... I don't know, eight to ten questions here. And so in this lightning round, we're just going to ask them really quickly and get the precise and concise answer to them so that we can really just get through them. Also, are you ready? Absolutely. Start right. the lightning round. Lightning round begin. Is it countdown? <laughs> oh, okay. No countdown? Yeah, let's do a countdown. What? <laughs> you, you say three, but Off to a good start. One. Off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Three? Two. Go on. All right. First one is by Cobasetic. He asks, will there be a way for dedicated PVPers to profit off PVP and through war coins or the future cur currency war medallions? Okay. Now, uh, as that, that we don't have info on right now. There's going to be a lot of new PVP features, a lot of new content added that will definitely help motivate players to do more PVP. As we introduce more features, we're going to introduce newer rewards as well. So there's also a new PvP currency on the way, but what reward you get that that's still in the works. No more info yet. We'll keep you posted though. Our right, next question: Sevier asks, "Why were the idol on Serena and Subaki um, removed from spawning in game? Is there any chance of them getting put back in their normal spawning places?" Okay, so Serena, it is our plan that she will only be available during the Crescent Moon phase um, in the item mall shop through Essence Pack. However, she is also currently available through the Essence Pack in the loyalty shop, so there are ways to get her without AP. Um, now, as to Subaki, um, we're actually still looking into that because it's actually not intended for her for, for that island to not be spawning. Um, so while we're able to verify she did spawn on our test server, we're actually still looking into why she's not doing it on live, since testing conditions can sometimes be a, a little bit different on test and live, such as on test we can actually reset the dungeons, we can't really do that on the live, so it's going to take us a little bit to get to the bottom of why she's not doing that, but we're working on that with our developers, so just sit tight and that should be fixed eventually. Sparkle asks, you recently introduced new costumes and also the fusion formula for the costumes. Are we going to be getting more, more of that? Absolutely, we definitely will. Um, a lot more coming. No specific details right now, but I think keep an eye out. Bridget underscore Hydra asks, do they plan to change the way how loot is credited to the player? Right now, when you die on a boss fight and the boss dies too, you do not get any credit at all, even if you have participated in a fight that led, your, led to your party successfully killing the boss. Okay, so currently, no plans change in the system. Um, but while we don't want to move away from the individual drop system for each player, we do understand the player perspective on, on how dying during a fight will affect the system. So we're going to continue to in, uh, investigate that and address with the developers if necessary. Tainted666, our fellow panelist, asks, Will AK get an archive function like the one in Eden Eternal, where you can store trophies, mounts, costumes? Currently, there are items that you cannot delete or store. Um, so, at the moment, there's no plan to change the current storage system. However, however, we are working with the developers on a possible archive system that would kind of complement the existing storage system. So it wouldn't be the same as in internal. It would actually be a, a completely new system. So that we will have more info on in the future. But we currently don't have a date for that. Miku underscore, underscore Mark asks, will Ark and more Air Games do anime crossovers? Um, now, it does depend on, on, on what they mean by this. I mean, there have been anime-inspired costumes in the past uh, for other games, but currently we're actually partnering up with Crunchyroll, and we're planning on reaching out to other media and studios. Um, nothing confirmed at the moment, but again, we'll keep people updated. Soul Slay asks, 
With new classes constantly coming out, will there be more class slots? And when new classes come out, are there thoughts on making a main class change in roll? Scroll. If they are 100 adamant against the main class reset, will there be any faster way to level? Okay, so we've discussed this, um, and unfortunately, our, our current technical limitations makes more class slots a bit too prohibitive. Um, however, we are continuing to discuss that with the developers. There are absolutely no plans to implement a class change item. Um, we feel that people should have the experience of leveling up to be able to truly excel with the class. Um, now, currently, we actually feel that the leveling is is pretty fast and pretty easy, and we don't think it's something that needs adjustment. Um, however, that sort of thing is normally adjusted over time as more levels are added to the game. All right, Dark X Warfare X asks: Is there any idea as to when weapon costumes will be added? Um, so the costume weapons, they're actually definitely coming very soon. Um, I actually saw Spyro checking some out just yesterday. So yeah, some are not quite ready, but there are a few that are, that are actually very, very cool. And we're actually very excited about those, and we're sure the players will like it as well. And Hasegawa asks, are we still in open beta? Very good question. Actually, the game is in full release, so we are no longer in open beta. Nope. You guys never made like an announcement about that, at least not from what I saw. We often don't, and that's that's actually a common industry thing. Is normally it just kind of transitions over from from open beta to full release. There's so <laughs> no, we didn't actually announce it, but you can take this as your announcement if you'd like. Awesome, because yeah, because that was one thing I was kind of curious about too. Because you guys said that open beta would last the first. I don't know, not even the first week, like the first few days of open beta, and then it would be full release. And now that we've had a content patch, I was kind of curious about that too. Yeah, yeah. So we're definitely in uh, full release right now. Full release. All right. Awesome. So, what do you guys think about those questions? Are there any that you want to dive into? Actually, I have two of them I want to dive into. Mostly for costumes. Uh, can I start? Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, go ahead. All right. Well, uh, you know the weapon costumes, right? Well, I've seen some p screenshots with uh, someone with dual swords. Well, none of their classes was uh, duelist at all. It was um, a wizard and uh, something else that was not a duelist. Uh, I was wondering if we could equip uh, weapon costumes for any weapon onto any class. That I'm personally not uh, sure on right now since we're just being able to start testing a lot of them. So that, I, I couldn't tell you personally, but it's definitely a possibility. It might be just the case uh, of it, something that you can equip on any, uh, on any class, and it will appear as a dual weapon. I think because costumes and equipment are already separate, they're already separate uh, systems, I think it will probably be that you can equip the weapon costume um, to any class or sub, um, subclass duo. So yeah, I'm gonna be uh, playing the harp with uh, two swords now. Uh, anyway, so just uh, put that I mean, down. Oh yeah, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. once we'll we've had a chance to play around with it, <laughs> yeah, once we've been able to play with it some more on our test server. Um, I mean, first off, we just have to make sure that all of them actually work as intended, because you can sometimes find some interesting bugs for even the silliest things. Um, but once we've uh, been working on that some more, then we'll have more info. All right. And uh, I actually have another one. It was uh, about the anime crossovers, but you said that you're partnered up with Crunchyroll. Um, I actually have uh, heard that Crunchyroll has gotten a mascot and uh, is soon getting a little sister for her also. Do you make plans on probably making uh, Aura Kingdom outfits for their mascots since you're partnered up with them? Or if, if possible? I mean, if possible and... If it's something that, that they'd want to go for, you know, we, we can look into that kind of stuff. I mean, a lot of that, it's usually, there has to be a lot of back and forth, make sure that there's no like, copyright laws uh, being no overruled, anything like that. So, I mean, we have worked with them before. And as I said, uh, on previous games, I know on uh, In Eternal, there was actually some, some very cool anime-inspired outfits, which, since I know that's something that a huge portion of our player base is into, obviously there's going to be a lot of people interested in that. Um, so, I mean, that's something that it really, it takes a lot of talking back and forth between us uh, before we're able to actually decide if that's something that we're able to go forward with. But, 
you never know. On to that topic, I was wondering, you know how most of the costume in game is based on an animate? Could the player base design or actually request a costume made but it based on a western beast? You know, that's actually a really cool idea. And actually, I'm going to pass that on to people. Because I know that on, on other games, um, we've actually had, had stuff like that where, you know, we hold a contest and say, design a costume. Um, that's something I can't give you any positive answer on right now. Um, because it's something we'd have to talk to our developers with and see if, if they're willing to do that kind of thing. But we've done stuff like that before, and, and we actually got some very cool stuff. Which, I mean, I've seen some of the more artistic submissions by players for various events, and we definitely have some very, very artistic people out there. Awesome, because I definitely want a minion pet. Best sing banana song and throw bananas. <laughs> <laughs> You're about I like banana be a life like me. You see, bananas. B-A-N-A-S. Then S for bananas? B-A-N-A-N-A-S, yeah. I would talk so sorry oh, right man. now if I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Dude, I, if that really does happen, I'm excited. Because, you know, hey, Abzo, you know, you want to make me a snowman. Oh, no. Just, just saying, oh, uh, okay. no. <laughs> oh, I want to be a snowman. <laughs> I, I have a I have a very young daughter, and I have been surrounded by that song. Oh, <laughs> <Not Bob Reason. laughs> everyone's been. Everyone's I been wake up I wake song. up twitching at night with that song going through my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can have a lot of snow around here. <laughs> before we even started recording the podcast, like <laughs> that's all he sang for like a big hour. Unmuted, unmuted him. Although, although weren't you playing the? Uh, uh, weren't you singing the, the version that was uh, written by a player for one of our maintenance events? Oh, yeah, the one about the level 60 gunslinger, because he yeah. kept hurts. No, that was, that was pretty cool. So squishy. We, yeah, <laughs> we, we actually have a lot of fun with the maintenance events, because there's, there's always some very, very cool stuff in there that usually makes us uh, pretty entertained. GM, also, yeah. would you kind of like to even explain those a little bit more? Because I find that a lot of players do not even know they, even, they exist. So can you like just let our viewers know what they are? Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's just basically something that we've been doing lately uh, during our weekly maintenance, which is uh, every uh, Tuesday, uh, starting at 5.30 PST. Generally in the maintenance post itself, we're going to put up uh, an event for players to, par to uh, participate in. Um, and we've had different ones. We've had ones... Uh, like, like uh, players need to stack items on top of each other. I think that was our most recent one. Uh, we had ones where players uh, need to make a mask out of food found in the fridge. What? Um, I which, almost entered that one. <laughs> we had some, really? some I interesting ones. that one. <laughs> yeah, we, we've, we've also had ones where we said, you have 30 seconds, impress us, go. Um, and I, I think the winner for that was was a um, a 14 second Rubik's cube solve, which was definitely very impressive. So yeah, we have a lot of different ones like that, and it's something both to keep the players occupied while we're down for maintenance, and also just to entertain us because um, we definitely see some very cool stuff. These maintenance games are really good though, because uh, I used to always spend my time playing uh, some Dynasty uh, games, but now I, I'm just too interested in trying to uh, enter myself in the uh, contest and try to win, because a lot of people don't know that the not many people enter them, and everyone has a chance to win equally. So mm -hmm. you know why why not why waste your chance? Plus the prizes are great too. Yeah, the, Custom the gears prizes are and really really good. Oh yeah, especially I just for the face mask one. one. I almost it, did it, but there was nothing in my fridge that night. Ironically, it was it was really bad. It, it's definitely a, probably a better use of your time than than spamming shout box asking when the servers are back, <laughs> <laughs> which no one will be able to read because it's going by way too fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anyone who spams shout box over here. Not me. <laughs> It's not, yeah, like I, it's not like I spam the link to every episode of the day that it comes out. No, <laughs> I would never do that. I mean, it's not like yeah, I want really. this podcast to have more exposure. You know? Oh, yeah. Easy concept. 
I'm just busy kidnapping people in games. We can kidnap people into our guilds. That way I do too. <laughs> gotta be careful. Isn't that right, bro? I became so good at it. Did we have uh, any other questions or feedback on the on the uh, the lightning round stuff? Yeah. No, that's it. Oh. That's it. That's it. Uh, yeah, right. That was awesome, though. I actually got a good amount of questions asked and answered. <laughs> almost yeah. A, now <laughs> almost well, uh, in, in appropriate <laughs> words. So <laughs> good service. But we we won't be able to do that uh, every week, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, since we usually try to make sure that. We were able to keep within the time constraints. Oh, yeah. Um, and we also want to make sure that we're picking questions that are kind of indicative of the player base as a whole. But we definitely got a lot of good ones this week, and I wanted to see if we can we can actually answer all of them. Mm-hmm. So hopefully that goes a bit towards answering uh, some of the some of the player questions. And speaking of player questions, right now I'm actually looking at the thread of State of the Kingdom, and we do not have very many questions for Episode 7. So please get on it ask your question for episode seven i really like to see the turnout um that we saw for this episode episode six so please if you have not done so yet ask your questions as long as they're appropriate and the gms will be able to see it so guys do you have any final (coughs) comments any final words of encouragement try and do the auto word helmo is not that hard as much as most people describe to be it's pretty fun actually Minus the part when I was tank at one shot it, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste all your money on ores and, and trying to make a profit off it if you're unlucky that day. You should probably wait ten seconds between each core. I just I I'm I'm so poor now because of crafting. I sense a, a tale of woe behind that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you can make food and sell it. It's pretty. Oh, I was I was actually going to start doing that too. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that one. I would just say don't play like on your own and think you can do everything. Try and join a guild and like do some teamwork. That's the only way you're going to get through like leveling in dungeons. Very good advice, Vatio. I actually like that. That was probably the best. That's true. My advice is bananas. Oh god, this is good. <laughs> okay, then look. I would Speaking say that's, that's probably the best advice, actually. Yeah, I want to change mine to snowmen and building them. <laughs> also, invite level 60 gunslingers to your party. They kind of hurt, and their party buffs are really kind of cray. Yeah. And don't afraid. Gunslingers are to like a why would they? Why would anyone want them? I don't, like, I don't know. It's probably because they're the squishy. It's probably pretty fun. squishy, and they die a lot. Sometimes they might DC. <laughs> If the gunslinger is dying a lot, it's because they're doing too much DPS for their own good. Oh, really, though? Actually, uh, oh, no defense. Yeah, it's really strong. They're really... Yeah, they are yeah, really no, strong, Yeah, no, that's what I'm though. saying. Like, you have defense. to kind of... Honestly, straight up, you do kind of have to exert some control over the amount of DPS that you do, because... Yeah, it's cool to say, oh my gosh, I'm DPSing so much that I'm pulling the boss. Well, if you're pulling the boss, the tank's not doing its job, so you're going to die, so... Yeah, have fun with that. Don't want the car to rest you. <laughs> you know, exactly. Sometimes you shouldn't be too strong. You know, I, I believe the saying goes, um, if the tank dies, it's the healer's fault. If the healer dies, it's the tank's fault. If the DPS dies, it's their own fault. Precisely. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> Actually, usually when a tank dies, I end up tanking. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. More just poor gears. But I have been seeing a, a surge of uh, good tanks. I think the mediocre ones are either getting better or being cropped out. They're realizing tanking is not just about standing in front of the monster anymore. And just oh, yeah. Heads and getting healed. It's a whole science to it. Well, I'm just very passionate think, about tanking. I think uh, uh, Advent of Sky Tower definitely helped that as well. Yeah. Because uh, tanks are becoming more of a necessity now. So people oh, are definitely having to step up their game. Yeah. Especially in other worlds too. Oh, yeah, speak of Sky Tower. This game is just... I wasted all my life on Flow 4, and we start out with Flow 4. Oh, yeah. We, you, we, we really need <laughs> Bell. We need Bell nerfed. We need a nerf, please. Nerf flux. I swear to God. <laughs> we'll, so we'll, we'll look into it. And, like, two months time, you're gonna be like, me. she's so weak. 
We need her buff. She needs to be buffed. Everyone's rolling through her. It's that fluctuation of uh, the when the content's new, it's overpowered. When it's old, it's too weak. <laughs> well, give us a percent percentage yeah. of getting reroll. I mean, reset. It happened to me twice already. When is that? Like five percent HP. Maybe you just have bad RNG. No, that's what I have. I straight bad up. RNG. I learned my lesson. Um, with Eden Eternal, that I have bad RNG, so I don't do bearing on table. I don't do essence packs. <laughs> if I would have, I would have already dumped like thousands of dollars into Arcanum. So I'm no, oh, it's, not it's, that lucky. <laughs> it's funny how that works out. It just like some people just seem to have all the breaks. Uh, we, do. There's actually some. I know, right? There's some person that I, I don't know who it was, but we we saw some person the other day. And this is probably going to upset a lot of people. Oh yeah. But they were were purchasing the Serena Essence packs, and they got Serena after eight packs. Not oh, not, no. not not full key. They full got key. The full, full key. Full key. Oh my well, that Serena? sounds so hard. Someone got two full key in one run. Is that hard oh, with the in front of this stuff like that too? I mean, really? that's, that's the joy of RNG, is yeah. sometimes joy, it will curse. not be with curse. you at all. It is a curse. I'm sorry, it <laughs> Why? is a curse. I swear the MMO gods have it out for me, because I have tried <laughs> RNG so many times, and I'm not turning this into my therapy session, but have MMO you, gods hate ha me. Have you tried dancing around in the moonlight and sacrificing three bots? No, but I almost tried the Hari Hari Yukai dance, and... <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I did that. It was fun, man. <laughs> but no, the Amable guys just do not smile upon me. But it's it got fine. so bad. It oh. got so bad to the point that my guild, all of us, end up doing fishing, and we almost rename our guild to Fisherman Village. <laughs> and how bad we it is. The fishers. The fishers. <laughs> to up. Fish. Okay, this is getting so off course. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't think there's any. Oh, dude. Come on. Actually, now Are we I ever feel like to end? I want to do some fishing. <laughs> no. <laughs> the podcast never ends. It just goes on and on, my friend. No. Bananas, bananas, bananas. Snowman, too. Yeah. I still like the banana song from the Minions. Banana, I can't sing very well, but I well, what, 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 what about the other banana okay, songs, man? Oh, what other banana right, songs? I, like, B, uh, bananas. Um, it's bananas. B, I think, I think Xanax singing is probably, uh, I think Xanax singing is probably a sign that we should run for our lives. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, especially I have Most a definitely. bunch of banana next to me. <laughs> You're going to get a banana nightmare. I really do want to see the banana suit, though. I really, really, really do. Oh, dude, I had a banana suit on when I did the hard, hard dance. <laughs> Are you serious? I oh, really oh yeah, video. I did. Hold up. I want the minion pet that sing the banana song. I'll probably link I, it I in should get a free. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, it's uh, the second half of the video. Oh, man. This was like a month ago, and my hair got really long. Yeah, we're right, still recording. Uh, there it is. Yes, yeah. we are still recorded. Mm -hmm. So, guys, yeah, first, as wow. I get this link, we will sign off. <laughs> it's been wonderful having you as listeners. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Say hello yeah. and goodbye to our new panelists. We'll hopefully have them back either the next episode or sometime in the near future. So, All right. Have a wonderful day. Stay beautiful. And Thank keep playing you guys for joining. And so I get up. Swag, swag, swag. Banana. Please check out the featured artist for this series.